All right, so in the last video, we developed a tactic that allowed us a strategy, I guess in some term, to, to take the derivative of equations that are not expressed explicitly, equations that are expressed implicitly. And the way that we did it was, as we took the derivative, anytime we took the derivative of y, we tacked on a dy. Anytime we took the derivative of an x, we tacked on a dx. Then, to tidy and arrange, we put all the dx terms on one side, all the dy terms on the other. We then factored out the dx and dy because every term on the one side had a dx and every term on the other side had a dy. And then in order to get dy over dx by itself, we first got the dy by itself by dividing away everything associated with dy. And then to get the dx in the denominator, we divided away the dx. This step-by-step -step process applies to any such implicit equation. So let's take a look at this guy, y equals cosine x plus 15x squared minus y squared. On the surface, this almost looks explicit because it's y equals, but it's not explicit because in order to be explicit, you would have to have y equals where everything it was equal uh, did not depend on y. And here we've got y on both sides. So this is an implicit expression. So the first thing to note is that this is implicit. And since it, since it is implicit, we're going to need to follow our tactic of choice to take the derivative. So let's go about that. First step, we're just gonna take the derivative of y and x, tacking on a dy every time we take the derivative of a y, tacking on a dx every time we take the derivative of an x. So y, derivative, one, we took the derivative with respect to y, tack on a dy. Cosine x, derivative, minus sine x, tack on a dx. Why? Because we took the derivative with respect to x. Uh, here's another x term. This one's going to be 30x, but since we took the derivative with respect to x, we're going to tack on a dx. And lastly, that y squared term, that's minus 2y, but since we took a derivative with respect to y, we're going to tack on a dy term. Now, what's our next step? We want all the dx terms on one side, all the dy terms on the other. As I look at this, I mean, in the last example, we brought all the dx's to the left and the dy's to the right, but heck, look, all the dx's here are already on the right. So all we have to do to get all the dy's to one side is just to add 2y dy to both sides. And as you always do with equations, in order to preserve equality, you're going to have to add the same thing to both sides. So adding 2y dy to both sides is going to get you, uh, what here, uh, to, to something that's equal, 1 dy plus 2y dy equals minus sine x dx plus 30x dx. Now, all the dy terms are on one side. All the dx terms are on the other. Every term on the one side has a dy. Every term on the other side has a dx. Next, let's factor out our dx's and our dy's. So we can factor out our dy's here by getting what? 1 plus 2y times our dy. And on the other side, we have minus sine x plus 30x times the dx. And now we're getting closer to having dy over dx. In order to get dy over dx and have that fully found, we need to get dy by itself. So the next step is going to be to divide away everything associated with dy from both sides. So let's divide away 1 plus 2y from both sides. That's going to cancel on the left-hand side and yield you with just dy. We're getting closer to dy over dx. On the other side, we've got minus sine x plus 30x over 1 plus 2y times our dx. And now, to get dy over dx, what do we need to do? As the last step, divide both sides by dx. So divide the left side by dx, divide the right side by dx. On the right-hand side, the dx is going to drop away. On the left-hand side, you're going to get the dy over dx that you were after. And this is minus sine x plus 30x over 1 plus 2y. Yes, this takes time. Yes, this takes effort. Yes, this takes energy. But here is an equation that is not explicitly stated, and we can still take the derivative. Uh, and the fact that it's doable is kind of cool. Every time you take the derivative of y, tack on a dy. Every time you take the derivative of x, tack on a dx. Get all the dy's on one side, get all the dx's on the other. Factor out those dx and dy terms. 
to get the dy by itself, we divide away everything that was associated with the dy, and then to get the dx in the denominator, we divide that from both sides, and the result is a dy by itself with a dx in the denominator and everything else on the other side.